Hello friends, welcome to Angpro Training. Uh, this is our fourth video on tips and tricks of C Sharp. In this video, we're going to learn the two kinds of uh, keywords called where and dynamic, which we are normally used to declare the variables. So I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio to run and show you the code. So I'm taking the new project. I'm starting with the console application and let us call this as where and dynamic okay so uh, here is the simple uh, class called program and inside the main I'm going to show you first the behavior of the variable which are declared using the keyword var right so before that uh, first let me explain the variable with int so if I declared a variable with int, I can store only the integer values here, right? So here num is a variable of type int, which holds the value, any number which is integer, right? So what if I want to store the string inside the same variable? I can't do that. I can't mix the type uh, to the variable num. So if you want to store any kind of data uh, in a variable uh, that acts like a generic uh, generic data type so just use the var keyword var is like a generic keyword you can store any kind of data inside the variable with the keyword var right say var num equal to anything any string character number boolean value or anything you want cell so store 10 right so how how does compiler come to know about the type stored in num so it is only decided at the compilation type so when compile time happens in the visual studio compilation happens alongside the typing as soon as i store the initialize the variable so compiler decides the type of variable num here can you see the screen tip here int num the variable num is assigned but the value is never used okay we're going to do that but the data type is int so if i erase the value here so it is telling where num just so we uh, we have to explicitly tell the type of data here so i must initialize the variable used with where and now i'm going to check the value stored in the num so for that I'm using num dot and say it is showing the intelligence also. I have not defined the data type before the variable. So Visual Studio has decided the data type of the variable as int and it is showing me the intelligence only related to the integer here. So I will use get type to check the type of the data. Let's run this control F5 and it is see here it is int 32 right so let me print the value num control f5 so the value stored is 10 and it is integer type say uh, now i'll change the value to string name is ang pro so let me run this control f5 see now it is string so the type of data is decided at the compilation type so compilation happens alongside the typing so that is the beauty of visual studio here and one more thing whenever you declare a variable with var keyword you have to initialize the variable you can't leave the variable like this and next you cannot uh, initialize anywhere anywhere after the declaration so it is going to give you the error see here where num it must be initialized you can't leave it blank at the declaration part when you try to run this it will give you the error right so here it is the error so remember so this is the disadvantage of using the where keyword so you have to initialize a declaration only before you're going to use it right and another thing is once you initialize once you declared and initialize the variable with where you cannot change its value to something else so this will be wrong if i do see so this is giving me the error here represent text a sequence but cannot implicitly convert type string to it so that you cannot reinitialize the variable which is already declared using the keyword var and uh, the visual studio is checking the type at the compile time for var keyword so if you want if i want to show you that see here 
as soon as I type dot here it is showing me the IntelliSense related to the integer if I change this value to string so it starts showing me the IntelliSense related to string right so now all these can be happened with the string now I'll use uh, to upper yes so it will convert the lowercase into uppercase see here right so this is about a var keyword and here the data type is decided at the compilation type now I'm going to show you uh, another data type called uh, dynamic uh, the data type of which is going to be decided at the runtime. It is not decided at the compile time, but it is decided at the runtime. So using this also, you can store anything in the variable. Say num, I'll store and I'll print that out. and now see just look at here so just type the name and dot it is not showing me the intelligence because uh, the compiler doesn't know the type of this variable so if if it doesn't know the type of the variable so it's not going to show me the intelligence because intelligence depend on the type of the variable it is it is unable to find out the type so it is not showing me the intelligence I have to type myself here get type so now I can run this program control F5 so it is of type string so the data type is going to be decided at runtime but not at the time of typing nor at the time of compilation right so the data type is going to be decided at runtime so let me change here control F5 so now it is date so now it is integer right so now I'll make this float control F5 so now it is double alright so and one more thing uh, one more advantage of using the dynamic is you can leave it uninitialized and you can initialize it anywhere here so unlike uh, the variable declared with var you, you can use the variable initialized anywhere in the program I mean inside the main of function and the one more thing you can change the value also if I stored 100 here and another advantage of using dynamic is I can reinitialize the variable so I'll show you that now equal to now I'm storing the string inside here uh, because the data type is going to be decided at the runtime so compiler is not worried about the type actually stored in the variable num right so let's run this control f5 okay let me use this also control f5 so first the data stored is 100 and which is of type is 32 next the string is angpro and it is of type string right so this is how dynamic works when you declare the variables using var keyword type of variable is declared is decided at compile time errors are caught at compile time uh, that means the time that you are typing and visual studio shows the intelligence since the type of variable assigned is known to compiler and in the case of dynamic type of variable declared is decided at runtime errors are also caught at runtime Visual Studio does not show IntelliSense since the type of variable assigned is unknown to compiler. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.